I have got three, three big things to share with you. Three big things. First of all though, a massive, massive, arms open wide. Welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. I'm not a professional. I'm not a paid sort of guy. I'm not sponsored. I'm not monetized. I'm just a regular random guy with a massive, massive collection of fragrances, a passion beating and a desire to share them with you. And most of all, to inspire you, you, to wear a good fragrance every day. Where were we? Oh yeah, three big things. The first thing I want to share with you is someone sent me a comment recently and they said, Leggy, you know when you call him Mason Francis Kirkerton? Mason is not his first name. And I'm like, seriously, I thought that was his first name, Mason. All right, this is how unprofessional I, Johnny Leg, am. I went to school with a kid called Mason and I know it's a different spelling, but I kind of thought Mason Francis Kirkerton, I thought that was his first name. And this very kind person has pointed out to me, Leggy, that just means house. So his first name is Francis and his second name is Kirkerton. Don't know why the house. I guess it's the house. That's where he lives. That's where he makes fragrances. I don't know. But that's the first big thing. Big shock. Big thing I'm going to share with you. Got that off my chest. The second big thing I've got to share with you. I was in a department store, a massive department store recently in Birmingham city centre. Yeah, Birmingham city centre. And I went into this fragrance counter in this big department store. And there was obviously there's loads of really expensive sort of niche kind of fragrances. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop and I'm looking around and I do not know what made me do this. But I picked up <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540. I've had this bottle for many years. I know it, I wear it, I love it. Why, out of all the other fragrances there, I picked this up and I sprayed it. And this is the really big thing. When I sprayed this bottle a week or so ago of 540, I was like, that seemed a little bit turned down. That seemed a little bit sort of rounded off. There's no sharpness, there's no s loudness about it. Right, I'm smelling my bottle from a few years back and I'm thinking, I don't know whether the cost of living has hit Mr. Francis Kirkerton that hard. He's had to reformulate, rework Baccarat Rouge 540 but it was definitely a very toned down version of what I'm used to. I'm used to a sharp, amber rich, saffron beautiful and jasmine heavy fragrance. I'm used to a fragrance which fills rooms, which fills cars, which announces itself to everyone as you come into the room. But the one I sprayed about a week ago, which was the current presumably 2023 model, it kind of, yes it smelled pretty much the same, but it was, it was very toned down and I've got to be honest, by the time I got home, I couldn't smell it. And I'm thinking, I wonder if the old boy has done a little reformulation, whether he's took out some of the precious oils and he's just sort of put a little bit of water in instead because maybe like every other company they're trying to make more money out of sort of less sales because maybe people are buying it a bit less i don't know all right that's the second big thing i've discovered now whether it was just that particular bottle or whether it was my nose on that particular day but i think that 540 has been reformulated to the point where it's a much more 
very easy wear it's not sharp it's not pungent it's not screechy if you like it's a very very toned down version of what it used to be please in the comments let me know if that was me smelling it in a different way or whether it has happened okay that's the first and second thing the third thing the third thing that has shocked me, that has wowed me, that has changed my view of things is this Mason Alhambra. It's called, help me out here, Barracue Rouge 540. I wonder what it's supposed to be a dupe of. Yeah. Okay. So this is Latifah's Maison Alhambra version of Maison Francis Kirkagen's incredible, legendary 540. And the reason why this is the third thing that I've got to tell you about is that just for a couple of moments it's a little bit alcoholy a little bit chemical right this 100 mil cost me on ebay are you ready for this 16 british pounds delivered you know what it's an almost perfect copy of Baccarat Rouge 540 it's certainly very close to the one I smelt a week or so ago yes the bottle I've got which is old that is sharp that is kind of almost screechy in places this Latifa, this Mason Alhambra. All right, people always say to me, Lecky, what percentage is, is of the real thing? All right, let me put it like this. Let me put it really simply. The moment you smell this, you do not go, I'm not too sure what it is, what is it? Instantly, instantly you go, Baccarat Rouge 540. It is that close. If you want me to put a silly percentage on it, I will say it's 95% the same. Okay? It is unmistakably Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, how on earth they have done this £16 all the way from the United Arab Emirates? wherever that is it's miles miles away from where I live and this cost me 16 pounds and it smells exactly Baccarat Rouge yes warning for the first five or ten minutes there is a little bit of a chemical alcoholic which is kind of commonplace with these Maison Alhambra's they all have that same sort of alcoholic chemical start after those 10 minutes the fragrance comes through and you know what it's pretty much there now this is Baccarat Rouge 540 unmistakably for 16 British pounds now it may have gone up a bit I've had this for maybe a couple of months and I would imagine as soon as people find out how close this is to Baccarat Rouge the price will probably go up because this right hand on heart where it whichever side it is this will completely tell you Baccarat Rouge 540 okay it doesn't deviate it doesn't miss this note or that note it captures Baccarat Rouge 540 perfectly what about the performance now
the performance on my old bottle of Baccarat Rouge. Seriously, all day. You don't even have to talk about the performance, it just goes on a long, long, long time. Don't know about the 2023 model though, because that, by the time I got home, and sort of an hour and a half later, I could scarcely smell it. I don't know, maybe that was me. Maybe that was my skin on the day, I don't know. Let me tell you about the performance of this. For the first hour and a half, this is loud. I mean, you go into a room, and it pretty much fills the room. If you're in a car, it fills the car. After the hour and a half, it does the usual dip down and it gives you a scent bubble and just then a gentle radiation for another sort of four or five hours. As the wearer, you will smell this for the majority of the day. Okay. But you know what, if you have got to top up at lunchtime, so okay, you put it on before you go out. If you've got to carry a Traveller, or if you're at work and you can keep the bottle in your bag, if you've got to top up at lunchtime, you know what, do it. Because this has cost you seriously pennies. Now I don't know about you, but if you have the real thing, every time you spray, you literally calculate that cost me about £2.50. That's the way it is with that, because that is a meagre 70 mil for 225 British pounds. That is unbelievable. And if it's reformulated in 2023, I'm going to say it's not worth buying. Let me point you in the direction of this, because at this price, you can afford to wear this every day. You know what, Baccarat Rouge 540 is a very versatile, all year round, any season, any occasion, any setting. This will wow people in the office. This will wow people on a date night. Well, people, person, hopefully. This will wow your, your partner on a date night. This will wow people if you go out for a drink or for a meal or whatever. This will work if you go to your place of worship. This will work in the gym. This will work anywhere. This is very versatile. But trust me, you will end up in tears if you are spraying the real thing. £16, British money, at a perfume, eBay. My hand on heart recommendation jumps around a bit the heart my hand on heart recommendation is that you buy this fragrance don't smell it for the first 10 minutes first 10 minutes don't even go near it it's settling down it's getting rid of its alcoholic chemical getting rid of that and then Baccarat Rouge comes through. Baccarat Rouge comes through in a glorious way and then it lasts a reasonable amount of time for what you have spent. Any questions, send me a question. Any comments, send me a comment. Any possible thumbs up. If you can do the thumbs up, that thing where you click on it and it goes like that, I would really appreciate it because I'm not a professional, I'm not monetized, I'm just a rain, reindeer random random crazy guy with a passion to share it to inspire you to wear a good fragrance i'm going to go now i'm going to let you get on with your life but in the meantime please stay safe and promise me that you will spray every day a good fragrance enjoy it wear it and keep that smile on your face goodbye